Hello everyone. Ave ve ku ve tinibu tinibu tinibu. Omo tinibu regele sho mi just kono be you people say a common wealth and and do it the way he wants to. Absolutely. Foundation for Investigative Journalism reports it is a hiding the figures dealing with ineligible companies irregular irregularities discovered in multi billion contracts approved by Tinibu in May yes all of this with your money after a two day marathon meeting in May 2024 the federal executive council led by Bola Tinibu approved a number of policies and contracts numbering up to about 21 key projects include a 7.6 billion naira contract to upgrade the Kwaita Yebu road in the Kwala area council of Abuja the concession to deploy a revenue assurance platform in the gambling industry the concession of the Abuja division of the court of appeal and a 412 million contract for street lights on Bill Clinton Drive Airport Way Airport Expressway Remember we also saw where the street lights were going to cost 100 and something million almost 200 million per one So project so now some of those projects it what they listed here there's one consultancy consultancy services for the reconciliation and expansion of remittances to NITDA The cost of contract was not revealed, duration was not revealed, contractor not revealed. Another one is special purpose vehicle to be created on a PPP basis to develop 90,000 kilometers of fiber optic cable. Uh, uh this thing uh not revealed, uh cost of contract not revealed, duration not revealed, contractor not revealed. You have building of bus terminal and other transport facilities in the federal capital abuja nothing uh, you know uh, 51 billion uh, was the cost of, is the cost of contract uh, uh duration is 15 million and then the contractor is planet projects nigeria limited you know all of these major major projects most of them are quantified it's not all of them yeah opportunity to just you know that's why For me I'm so sick and tired of all these major projects on this road. Meanwhile there are so many things that you need to put money in healthcare, education. Those ones they you cannot be chopping money. You have to put in the work and they are often neglected. Then you have upgrade of the Kwaita Yebu road in Kwala area council of Abuja. As uh, the cost is 7.6 billion, duration is 18 months and the contractor is uh, L and Mat Nigeria Limited. You have building of the Court of Appeal, uh, Abuja Division. The cost of the contract is 37.2 billion. Uh, duration is not revealed. Uh, the contractors is Visible Construction Limited. Some of these thing you go and check the company. The company does not have better history. The, anyway, let me let me not preempt this company. Street lights on Bill Clinton Drive, Airport Expressway. Uh, the cost of the contract is 412 million uh duration is not revealed the contractor is not revealed nigeria custom service to buy 200 uh, toyota land cruiser buffalo v6 i think they've already bought this one not mistaken 12.5 billion naira uh the duration is not revealed contractor not really not revealed section 2 of the lagos calabar coastal super highway uh uh 1.6 b uh 1.6 trillion naira duration no review contractor no review Constru reconstruction of cotton cafe abaji road uh 89 billion naira contract duration no revealed contractor no revealed Equal equalization of lagos bini road up with a section uh lokoja bini dualis our chief section uromi link road and lokoja bini road ekoma section a uh, 120 billion not uh the the duration is not revealed but the contractor to be financed by bua normally what happens in this is that so what they do is that some of them they finance this thing for tax tax uh relief or tax rebate and all of that 
and then construction of roads and bridges in time anyway there's so many this one the contractors five five hundred and forty six billion various contractors no name given no specified time so you see all of these things so there, there are so many uh, there's another one also again construction of the cargo bypass 230 billion uh that's the value of the contract it's supposed to be done in 36 months ccecc -E is a contractor concession to deploy a revenue assurance platform under ppp arrangement in the lottery and gaming sector uh the cost is not re uh, revealed it's the duration is 15 years yuan resource limited in the outcome of the meeting according to this report the presidency released a statement communicating the details of decision made they decided to leave us some key information for example the presidency re refused to disclose how much was paid to yuan resources limited for the 15 year concession to deploy a revenue assurance platform for the lottery and gaming industry. Additionally, it withheld the name of the contractor and the duration of some approved projects, such as street lights on Bill Clinton Drive Airport Expressway, attempts to get this information by the premium times for the sake of our transparency were futile. However, after the meeting of May 14, Maria Mamou, the Minister of State for the Federal Capital Territory provided details in an address to the correspondent in Abuja. Honestly, I didn't even know that Federal. I, this is the first time I'm hearing this name, Maria Mahmoud, Minister of State for. Hey, young man. People could just be ministers. They never know whether they are existing. Lord have mercy. Anyway, it might be my bad. I don't watch news, but man, this is my first time of coming across this thing. According to a leadership newspaper, Mahmoud specified that the contract for providing backup generators for street lights in the federal capital territory was awarded to contracts people nigeria limited combining information from the minister's address and the presidency statement FIGs discover rather all details about these contracts including the ineligibility of con contracts people nigeria limited and the lack of track record for yuan resources limited you're giving a 50-year concession to a company with no track record this is how they much gauge Nigeria for their own selfish, you know, selfish reason. And people are sitting down thinking politics does not concern them. Politics is how you get the people that will govern their own life. Not only your life, your children's life, your grandchildren, life. even when you are in the grave, that we that we control it. It's it's too politics that they enter into it. Because you might be buried in your grave. One day government will wake up and say they should exhume everybody and throw them in the sea. Yes, it can happen. Contract People Nigeria Limited, which was awarded a 412 million contract by the federal government to install street lights in Abuja, is ineligible for government contracts in 2024, according to the Bureau of Public Procurement. Under the 2007 Procurement Act, the BPP is tasked with maintaining national database of federal contractors and service providers, and it has exclusive authority to classify and categorize companies on this register. Due to the controversy surrounding the contractor's identity, FIG checked the BPP's database and found that Contracts People Nigeria Limited has not fulfilled its obligation to pay industrial training fund. This non-compliance is a violation of Section 16D of the 2007 Procurement Act, which requires that a bidder must have fulfilled all obligations related to taxes, pensions, social security contributions, and other employee-related commitments to be eligible for public contracts. The company, which was registered in July 2020, was also barely three years old at the time that the contract was given. Given the technical expertise required for this project, the contract contravenes the procurement act mandating procuring entities to have a three-year clearance before receiving government contracts. Hey, 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 Nigeria, my country. Yuan Resources Limited was registered after getting a consensual. Although the cost was not specified, the federal government signed a 15-year concession agreement with Yuan Resource Limited to deploy a revenue assurance platform in the gambling and lottery industry. 
According to the federal government, the agreement is structured as a public-private partnership and will be executed using the design, finance, build, operate, and transfer model. The decision sparked considerable backlash from state gambling regulatory agencies. Some of them argue that the federal government may be overstepping its bounds and interfering with constitutionally provided authority of states to regulate their own gambling industry. More curiously, checks by FIJ revealed that the company in question, Yuan Resources Limited, was not registered. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, <laughs> By the time Niger uh, Tinibu is done with Nigeria, say, ah, we'll be looking like a machetes slaves before uh, Lagos. What he did in Lagos State will be charged play be uh, compared to what Tinibu is said to do with Nigeria. If people like it, uh, sit down and keep looking at this matter, keep using our heads anyhow. What? Let me read that again. More curiously, checks by FIJ revealed that the company in question, UR Resources Limited, was not registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission at the time the concession was announced. Per the records of the CAC, it was only registered in June, nearly a month after the federal government reached an agreement with it. Additionally, no records were found for this company on the database of Bureau of Public Procurement, raising the possibility of the federal government violating procurement laws or due process by engaging a company with no prior registration track record. I don't know what to call this. Is this incompetence or mere arrogance? Or do whatever it is that you can do. Or letting you know, Nigerians know that Tinubu is ready to deal with everybody and do all sorts of things. Criminality is now legal in nigeria it's not the business of nigeria because i cannot understand all of these things even if you wanted to do this thing so didn't you know that okay fine respect the intelligence of the people i mean don't abuse our sensibilities wouldn't they have said something like okay go and quickly register this thing we want to give you this contract or look for one of the com companies they must have registered and use it no they actually sat down and gave a contract to a company that was not registered and it was after the company got the contract that they now went and register at CAC and it is okay and we are going on as if nothing is wrong by the time Tinibu is done with every one of us eh? one day we will wake up and see ourselves on queue queue for what IDP cars collecting looking for uh, a bowl of pottage that they will put on our dish. many people think that God forbid it can never happen but there was how professors woke up one day in Somalia and they were suddenly on the queue on IDP camps looking for food. If you think that it will not happen to you. <laughs> I laugh in this circle. Thank you for watching. Eh? Bye bye.